So B's proper trying these beds out, no messing around. Good morning everyone and welcome to the latest instalment of our Sprinter Van conversion series and today we're going to get a mattress for our bed. Um, also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have content coming out twice a week. Don't want you to miss it. Also, hit that notification button so you get notified because we get so many people telling us, I didn't know this video came out. When we were in America, people didn't even realize that we were releasing videos from America. So yeah, get notifications on so you don't miss it. But let me just show you what we are doing. So we've got our slats here in the box, ready to go on here. We're driving the van to Ikea so we can put the mattress straight on the bed and it's gonna really bring it all together. It's gonna look like an actual bedroom. Theo's just clearing out some of the excess stuff we've got lying around in the van, because there's no I point. Put it, I don't wanna put it on the floor, because the floor's really dirty. Yeah, uh, uh, hmm. it. put it on there. <laughs> oh, and also we've got something to show them, Vida Club. Yeah, we're back in the VW game. So for you VWers, we got a VW. Stay tuned. So here it is. We've got a new German whip to add to the family. <laughs> uh, this beast will be coming with us to Portugal. And it should be good enough to get us there. It was going to the scrapyard, but we managed to rescue it. So this was a bargain, very, very handy to get around in. And now let's go to Ikea, because I want lunch. Life is in a stream. The ocean call for you. So we've made it into Ikea, but it's an absolute zoo in here today. It seems like everyone's turned up and brought their family to Ikea day. So many kids screaming. I'm not really in the mood for kids screaming today. I just want to find us a nice mattress, but yeah, that's enough of me moaning. Hopefully you will find what we're looking for. And don't forget to do the same trick that you do at Screwfix. Take a load of pencils. These things come in so useful when you're doing your van build. So this is a pocket sprung mattress and it's firm. So now's the fun part. We can try out all the beds and see which is the comfiest. I know a lot of people go for memory foam, but we're just gonna see what we like the feel of and go for that. You're not liking any of them? A little bit too soft. It's, it's focused on the woman there, instead of you. <laughs> so B is proper trying these beds out, no messing around. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's comfy. <laughs> <laughs> it feels soft, which is important. Yeah, we need a soft bed. Oh wow, this is like, this is super comfortable. Better than the foam ones, it's got a bit of oomph to it. Yeah, although I'm sinking into the mattress quite a bit, so really? I'm like, is it a bit too soft? It is a it, <laughs> medium firm, as you can see up here, so I think we need a firm. Yeah, I think we need a firm mattress. Like, this one feels like I'm literally in a little bit of a U shape. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to make sure that we get the right mattress because although it's a camper van, we have been invited into people's houses and they're like, when we were in our T4 and they're like, oh, you know, like you can come and have a real bed. And I'm like, oh no, it's fine. I've got a real bed in my camper van. So that is the goal. You want to make sure that your mattress is super comfortable. Your bed is super comfortable so that you're just super comfortable. Cause at the end of the day, this is your home. It's moving, but it's still your home. Well, I've got some good news. B's got some good news. The firm version of this mattress is just behind this little barrier, so let's try it out. So apparently this is the firm version of the mattress we just tried. And this is... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. 
Oh, this is so nice. 190 pounds and bees just screamed. This is so nice. <laughs> Like you don't want to feel like you're sucked into your bed, do you know what I mean? Like you need to be able to get out. So this one feels good. So we might get chucked out of IKEA in a minute because we were just in the spooning position. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hopefully they don't kick us out. Hello mate. <laughs> So we were just filming and we got compromised by some random guy who wanted to be on the camera. Sorry about that. I think he wanted to join us. Who wouldn't? So you can get this mattress in all different widths, but the one we're gonna go for is 135 centimeters wide. And that is what we've measured out in the van. So it should fit perfectly, fingers crossed. So I think this is the one that we're gonna go for. It's pocket sprung. And you can see it's got a nice layer above the springs, so you can't feel the springs at all, which is really nice. The geek in me loves that you can actually see that. <laughs> such a nerd. <laughs> you are such a nerd. Satisfaction. But yeah, it's nice to see what goes into your mattress. But yeah, this is the one, I reckon. So B just came back with the food. I went for fish, chips and peas, ketchup, and I love these dime cakes are so nice and B got fish chips peas and a garlic bread here she is with the drinks nice fizzy pear drink you can't come to Ikea without getting food can you no you just can't oh the queue was horrendous here we go did anyone see the video of us making the shelf these are the ones we got not the five pound ones because they're tiny these ones so we were just on our way to get the mattress but got sucked in by these succulents you know the little shelf we've got by the bed i don't know if you remember but when we built that we said we want to have little succulents on there so these are perfect and they come in really nice little pots so we're just trying to find the ones that we like the best. We might have to do some mix and matching. But yeah, how cute are these? And these ones remind me of the prickly pear on the land that we've got, so they're cute. So we are now in the land of mattresses, figuring out which mattress is the one that we want to get. You managed to locate it? Yes, I'm just making sure it's the right firm. Yes. There you go. It was the firm one, yeah. And we drove the van all the way to Ikea for it to be rolled up. We could have bought the car. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> 26 kilos. You take the camera. Yeah, so it's the double, it's firm. 135, there we go. Watch the muscle man. It's not the... <laughs> I'm so excited. Me too. So we just put our IKEA slats back on the bed, which is exciting. It kind of transforms it from a wooden frame into a bed. And the reason we went for slats is because we're gonna have heating in the garage area, which is gonna heat the garage area, but also heat the mattress as well from the underneath. So we shouldn't get any mold or anything because it's able to breathe from these slats there's lots of gaps and also they give a little so it'll be a bit more comfortable than just a solid plywood board <laughs> it's like past the parcel <laughs> just keeps going so that was definitely a two person job, hence why we put the camera down. But look, B is lying on the bed. This is super exciting. We've been waiting for this moment for a long time coming. This is comfy as hell and so spacious. I just can't wait now to build the side cupboard here. It's just 
every day is my favourite phrase, but every time you put one more piece in the van, it really does bring it together and it feels like home. And this is our bed and it's so comfy. And this was the most important thing when we were building it because we were going to have it higher. And then we realised the higher it was, a thicker mattress, we're going to be cramped. So there's enough room to sit up in bed. I can sit, excuse the wrinkles, we've kept the plastic on to protect it. You know, you can sit up in bed, read, chill, everything. Oh, I'm just so excited. And have you spotted the addition behind me? We have brought some cacti. We've got ourselves some plant life for the van. I don't know if you guys remember, but we always said we were going to have some little cactus here, cacti, and we've got three super cute. They're so tiny, but they really are lovely. And I love the color of the pots as well. So as B said, we are having storage all the way up here. So that's going to be really exciting. And we're probably going to start working on that in the next few days. So yeah, things are definitely coming together. Like it just looks like we've got so much room. B's on the bed. And if I go back to where the kitchen's going to be, you know, it's a bit of a mess right now, but just look at that. We have a lot of room in this van. We've always dreamed of this much room. So yeah. And if you're new around here, yes, we have our 100,000 subscriber plaque implanted in the wall of our van because yeah we're proud of, we're proud of it so we've probably already told you and if you follow us on other social networks you will know we have a very clear deadline because our ferry is now booked everything's so exciting now we are going to portugal mid ish november and that's it, the ferry's going, so we have to be there and we have to get this van finished. So, as I said before, things are moving forwards and there's so much more to come. There is. Everyone keeps asking us, what's next? What have you still got left to do on the van? Well, we've got the kitchen to install. We've got- I'm actually <laughs> really excited about the kitchen. Like the kitchen is gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tricky, but I think we're gonna have a lot of fun building the kitchen because our oven arrived and it looks the dog's knackers. The dog's so. dangling. <laughs> it's pretty much we've got all the components for the kitchen now except for the water containers because we want it how it was in our old van in that we had two small containers that we could pull out and fill up from anywhere super easy you don't need a hose or anything so that's why we wanted the same principle for this van but obviously bigger containers so it can last longer because the old van it was only 24 liters this one we want at least 50. so once we've got the water containers that's literally everything to do with the kitchen and it can just all come together <laughs> and like b said if you think that we should go for like an underslung water tank which a lot of people do do, but you have to remember we've done a lot of traveling and there's a lot of countries where you can't get a hose pipe from the tap or the water source to your van. So you need to find another way. So we can now take our water containers to the water source and bring them back to the van. We feel that's the best way for us because we don't go to any campsites well, very rarely. So we need to be prepared for all different uh, things and possibilities so yeah there's times where we filled up in North Norway in tiny little kitchens where people have let us in their house or let us in their building to fill up with water and you know we wouldn't be able to run a hose pipe from there so we've made a video about these crates we're just putting them back in their place and we've actually brought one more today that we showed you earlier in this vlog so that's going to go there and we've got all of this storage which is amazing and it was super simple to make these so if you're interested check out the previous vlog guess what guys it's all coming together <laughs> it really feels like a home we I'm keep so saying excited. that it's my favorite phrase i think things are starting to move quickly now they are oh and also if you didn't know we do have cushions they're being reupholstered as we speak and they're gonna look beautiful we have the best person for the job we do reupholstering the cushions. Kat is going to do the best job. We've seen her working in other people's vans. 
beyond amazing. So. And obviously, we're going to bring that to you and yes. show you her workshop yeah. in a in a next well in an up and coming vlog. So like in Aladdin's cave. So that's a really fantastic place to show you. But yeah, the cushioning when that's on there with the bed. And it's all together, it's just going to be so lovely. I'm so excited to share the whole process with you all. So thank you for watching our van that was just a plain panel van turn into a cosy home on wheels. It's, it's going to be amazing. Like, as soon as we put these cushions on, that's going to change this whole area, this whole kind of living space. Now we've got the mattress on. Yeah, things are moving and we are so excited. Like. We've just been sitting here for probably 10 minutes just enjoying the space because you know we haven't we haven't had to spend any time in here yet so it's true and we need to get ready for something that's coming up at the end of September so we want to make sure that we're nice and comfortable for that that's it for this vlog i hope you enjoyed it just a small little trip to IKEA but they're always fun and yeah again Make sure you subscribe because there's so many more videos to come and I know you guys love the build videos as you keep telling us you want more build videos so we're doing as much as we possibly can so please subscribe, give us a like, leave us a comment about what we might be able to do better in the build vlogs but we're trying to show them as in depth as we can to help you guys along the way if you're going to do a build yourself so yeah thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next video. Head over to theindieproducts.com forward slash shop and check out our new merchandise. Join us on Patreon for exclusive content and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.